Hey everybody, I made a mistake on the last video, obviously, and you only got a short clip. <laughs> yeah, I'm still learning the editing program. Well, here's the rest of it. Okay, first... <laughs> And run, runway lights. Okay, so that's runway lights, top and bottom strobe. And as you can see, I got runway lights in the pants and as well as on the struts. And over here, I don't know if you can see it. I can't, let's, oh yeah, we can, yeah. Brighten up the screen, Phil. So we got the strobes. So yeah, basically, that's, you know, that's it. So I don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try to get a still shot and we're gonna change right now. Two hours later. Hey guys, out at the hangar. Um, I, I came out to do uh, an, an increase of voltage. My uh, strobes were very, very, not dim, but they were, they weren't putting out as much lumens as they should. Let's see if I can flick one on. And so I turned up the regulator a little bit so it flashes a little bit brighter. Don't know if you can see it. I'm hoping you can. At least look at the reflection in my hand. But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's from the magazine. This magazine here. Yeah. Simple strobe. And that's what I did. And instead of using what he did, which was uh, an old wingtip strobe, the uh, the case that the Coast Guard strobes came in, worked out just fine. So I didn't have to go scrounging for nothing else. But yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. So I turned it up a little bit so they should be at least a little bit brighter during the day. Turn you off. And now what I'm gonna do is I've seen other guys very, very smart. They took their handhelds and put them on the hoop right here on the other side so that they could dial in whatever they need to. And I want the feature of being able to switch from frequencies because when I start going up with another person, I want to be able to switch over and get off the local frequency, the common frequency, and move over somewhere else. This way we can talk and not interfere with, you know, normal traffic. The, the, <laughs> the hope is not to forget to leave it on that channel. And then, uh, then you come in for a landing and you're announcing all your pattern turns and so forth. And then you, you realize nobody's hearing you on a kind of you left it on the other channel. I've seen seasoned pilots do that. I've seen seasoned pilots do that. They'll go off to another airport, they'll come back, and they'll forget to change to our home airport frequency, 122.8. And they'll be on another frequency, and we'll be hearing other traffic. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Well, actually, it's not, but anyhow, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I just wanted to put together this little video and tell you what I was about to do. Um, I have taken some video clips of the installation of the strobes and I'm going to try to put together a video so that at least it'll show you at least what I did and maybe it'll inspire some of you guys but uh, just for the heck of it now that I'm thinking about it let me see what the date was sport aviation EAA sport aviation and we're looking at July 2020. So that's the uh, 
Sorry about shaking you all around. Um, that's the uh, the magazine that I got out got it out of. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna go back to messing around with this and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, that's a little better. Let me clean it up a bit. First things first. Now what I gotta do, I'm gonna use these are 24 inch uh, cable ties from Harbor Freight. They're not, uh, not that expensive and they're pretty strong. So uh, let's see, where is my cutters? Side cutters. So I got to take off my cable tie that I got the antenna wire hooked to. So there's one and one of the little ones. Okay. It's off. It's off. Now I can just swing this up here. Now what I got behind it is a piece of rubber. It's just like, um, hmm. I got it from my old friend Ron, uh, but I'm pretty sure you can get this rubber anywhere at the you know hardware store or whatever. It's just rubber padding. And I used it to keep it from messing up my uh, wing strut covers. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take that thing, swing it over to here. So... The only thing wrong is I got the belt clip off. There's no belt clip. That's the only problem. Is I don't have the belt clip on the back of the battery box. And I've seen you guys doing the belt clip on the back of the battery box. Then going through the belt clip. And just clipping it like that. And just a single wrap. But I can't do that. What I got to do is what I said so I guess what I could do is this put this guy up here Probably should remove that because I don't want to pinch it too much. And I'm sorry if I'm in the way, I'm trying not to be. Make sure I don't pinch stuff. The stuff I'm pinching here is my side plug. So let me make sure it works.
Now what I need to do is kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Put this over here. Yeah, I got to go higher. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, no. I got to bring it up here. So, that means I'm going to have to cut it and release these guys so that they can go higher. Yep. Yeah, that's, there's no way that's going to work. That's not high enough. So, I'm going to have to cut these, separate it all, get it up to here. So that I can comfortably see it and comfortably work it like you guys. Thank you for, uh, you know, I, I, I observe a lot. So I'll watch some of your other videos, some of your videos, and get an idea or two. Or, you know, I mean, I pick up ideas from everywhere. But, yeah, I guess that's just the nature of a builder. But anyhow, definitely needs to go up. So I'm going to shut that off. Get out of this. And you don't need to watch me take apart the wires, so I'm going to shut you down for now. Okay, um, I'm pretty much uh, done. I didn't want to sh show you guys all the little incidental stupid things but um i don't know if how well you're going to be able to see it but yeah i basically wire tied all my 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 wrapping my my extra wiring there and there's the radio so yeah let me go around the other way see if it'll show better but uh, I'm a done. That's uh, that's it, and that's it. And this is the uh, the wire for the headset. So now all I got to do is fasten down my antenna. And I'm pretty much done. So yeah, I rerouted my radio. So now I can see it easier. Hey guys, out at the hangar. I just wanted to pull the plane out to see my strobes. And that's the wingtip strobe I put on. Looks a little dim, so I'm gonna turn up my voltage regulator a bit and maybe get some better brightness out of it. But that's the LED Kunzelman. It's the uh, top strobe, bottom strobe, uh, LED also as well. I'll spit it out. Take a quick walk around the other side. And this is the other strobe. So if you guys remember right, if you guys remember, uh, on the right side, I had a red. Uh, no, left side I had a red, right side I had a green. And I think it was the green one that went out, or the red one. One or, one or the other went out. And I didn't have any more of those strobes. I could have ordered one off of uh, Amazon, but decided not to. So that's what I did. I just uh, improvised a uh, United States Coast Guard strobe and put it on the wingtips. So, yeah, you know, if I can get it to go a little brighter, those I think are better. But I just wanted to come out to the airport, check real quick. I haven't done any, any dusk flying or twilight flying, but I plan to. So, I'll be back.